This conference will now be recorded. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, yesterday we were uh, discussing, mainly we spent a lot of time understanding not just the timers, but how the components of the J meter will be executed. Okay, so the component of the JMeter executor uh, will be executed in a particular order, not in the way that you have put them in the test plan. That's now that's not how the JMeter works. The JMeter has its own algorithm uh, using which it will execute the components. Okay, uh, I believe once you get a hang of this, you know, you're using JMeter becomes that much easy. To be honest, guys. Okay, if you know low runner, JMeter should not be difficult, especially after so many classes, you know, <clears throat> it, should, it should have become more and more easier for you. Okay, and uh, there are certain things which are important for you to understand <clears throat> and get hold of JMeter. And in those certain things, this is one of the important things is what I believe, the order of execution of the components. Okay, and even in the interviews, then you can expect some questions over here on this particular order of component execution. First, in a particular thread group, first the config elements will be, uh, <clears throat> config elements will be executed first, then the pre-process, then the timers, then logic con controllers and samplers are on the same level, and then the post-processors, accessions, and listeners. Okay, just keep this keep this in mind guys, you know, don't try to buy hat or mug it up. You just try to uh, understand, you know, uh, as to what it is. Okay, make sense out of it and you should uh, and definitely automatically you will be able to, you know, uh, remember the flow. Config elements like, you know, cache manager, cookie manager, all those things. Okay, like, you know, CSV data set which contains the data, all that needs to be executed first in general. Okay, whether it's a cat, how to deal with the cashier, how to deal with the cookies, how to deal with certain aspects. Okay, you need to execute first so that you know the code which is there in the samplers makes sense. Okay, so obviously config elements should be the first. As the name suggests, it's a pre-processor. Processor means sampler. Okay, so pre-processor is before the sampler you have to execute. Post-processor means before after the sampler you have to execute. Okay, processing is what do you process usually the code well, what is where is the code it is either in the sampler or in the uh, or it's, it should be in the sampler itself. So pre processor means it should be before post processor means it is after and assertions is a checkpoint which will be done after the script is executed you will check whether <coughs> whether the response is correct or not only after sending the request and once you get the response back you will check if the response is correct or not which is the assertion. And finally, the listeners is where you get the results. After the results is sent, response you got, and you check the results, uh, response is good. That's when you 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 look at the reports and all that. Just you need to remember that the timers are ahead of the samples. Actually, if you if you are looking at it logically, you never have to mug it up. Okay, if you pay enough attention, you would know as to why this uh, this order has been uh, uh, create order has been put up uh, uh, by the generator. It's not at all difficult to understand this. Okay, so elements usually contains cache, cookie, and all those kind of things, which has to be the first one. Then pre-processor is before the sampler, post-processor is after the sampler. You just have to remember that the timer is before the sampler. I would have preferred timer after the sampler. Not sure why the timer was before the sampler. Then assertions is more like your checkpoints, which will check what's there in the response. So suddenly it has to be after the sampler itself. And finally, after the sampler is executed and after it, the, after you check if the response is good or not, then you wanted to create some sort of reports which will be there in the listeners. Okay, this is the order if you remember, okay, which will be very good guys. Okay, and in the interviews, they might not ask you the order directly. Okay, give me the order of execution and all that. Maybe they can give you a hypothetical example saying that uh, config element like HTTP cache manager is after the sampler. Tell me which one will be executed. Uh, sampler will be executed first or the cache manager. Okay, or they might say that the post processor, first you have a post processor, then a timer, then a sampler. Tell me how the order of execution. First the timer, then the sampler, then the post process. Okay, it doesn't matter how you have put these components on the test plan. Okay, it doesn't really matter. How what matters is you know what is this? 
hierarchy or the order of component execution okay based on this the geometer automatically will rearrange those components internally and execute it accordingly okay that's what we have discussed that's the most important point we have discussed yesterday and obviously we have discussed about certain things like you know uh, timers you know how, how the timers needs to be okay so <clears throat> one more thing guys okay let me ask a question to you okay let me ask this question and in today's class i'll try to keep it short and simple guys because there's not too much crowd it's kind of disappointing to be honest okay i, I was expecting at least you know today being saturday and you know you're out of uh, christmas celebrations you know most of the people will join but doesn't seems to be okay so i do respect uh, your celebrations but you know we need to continue in the class as well okay so that's the reason why so tomorrow whoever is listening to this recorded videos tomorrow please join us important topics you are missing okay so i would feel bad like i'm putting so much efforts and someone someone is missing okay it feels bad if you have attended and you are not understood then it makes sense i mean it, it was my mistake but you haven't understood you know uh, it, it feels bad to be honest okay <clears throat> now now okay um Okay, let me take uh, uh, let me take this uh, back up. Okay, let me take this back up. Okay. Okay. Forget about all this. Okay. Um, okay. Let me use the registration. Wonderful. Okay. Here also we have this one. Okay. Forget about all this. Let me create a new simple controller. So let me create a quick thread group here, okay, and let me create a couple of samplers here, HTTP request 1 and uh, HTTP request 2. So let's say this is 1 and this is 2, okay. Now, now, and, and then let's say there is a third one as well, okay. So now tell me guys, you know, I... I want the think time between these two samplers, okay? I want the think time of, let's say, one second between these two samplers, okay? If I do this, okay? If I do, if I put a constant timer like this, and here I put it as thousand, uh, which is one second, okay? Is this okay, guys? Just put, uh, just say yes or no, depending on yesterday's class. Is this okay? I just want the think time only between sampler one and sampler two, only these two. I don't want the sampler to be between two and three. So will this work if I put a think time or a constant timer of one second over here? Will this work? I want all the nine students to answer guys, please. Only I'll get the energy from you. I'm already a little disappointed that not too many people have joined today. Okay. So I want to hear from all of you guys. You just have to say yes or no. That's it. Okay. No, it will not work. As I've told you, first, the, what is the order of execution? First, the timer, then the sampler, timer, sampler, timer, sampler. That's how it will be executed. That's what we have seen. Okay. Why? Because that's how the JMeter is designed. I wanted only between the sampler one and sampler two. <clears throat> what should I do, guys? Can somebody please tell me? Unmute themselves and let me know. Okay. Any idea? Use the template or maybe use the flow control action and inside the flow control action add the constant timer of one second okay <clears throat> so that yeah put it under request one i do, i do understand that also makes sense noble or you use the flow control action inside the flow control action and add the constant timer. this is this is generally the way people use it or most of the jmeter exports use this or as noble said just put it under this one Put it under the HTTP request, but the problem with this one is first the timer will be executed, then the request will be executed, so it will not work. So you have to put it under, okay? You have to put it under the HTTP request two, so that it will be executed before request two, and my requirement will be fulfilled. So first request one, then the timer, and the request two will be executed. So if you put
put it under the one, my 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 requirement will not be fulfilled. No bell. Uh, first, since the timer will be executed first, then the request will be executed. So the the timer will not be between request one and request two. So if you put it under two, then it will be between one and two. Okay. Or else use the flow control action. Wonderful, guys. Okay. So. <clears throat> So today we'll talk about the different kinds of timers. Okay. So yesterday when I when I recorded it recording via uh, the the template. Okay. Uh, using the template, you know, I've recorded the template called recording with think times. Okay. I've recorded. Or after the recording is done. Okay. After the recording is done, I simply did right click add think times. Okay. Add think times to the children. So when I did this. What kind of timer was added, guys? There are different kinds of timers. I've already discussed about constant timer. But when I went through the template, or when I uh, when I right clicked and said think, add think time to the children, okay, add think time to the children. There is a certain kind of timer that was added. What was that timer? Anybody could remember that? What is that timer which generator is recommending us to use? Wonderful. Okay, it was uniform random time. Okay, it was uniform random time. Okay, so this is what okay Jmeter is recommending us to use. Okay, so I would I would also say with my experience. Okay, uniform random timer is the way to go. Is is, is that's what we need to use. Okay, so let's try to understand what is this uniform random timer is. Okay, <clears throat> okay, uniform random timer. Then I talk about the Gaussian random timer. Okay, first let's talk about the uniform random timer. Okay, so guys, in the uniform random timer, there are two parts to it. One is the constant delay, and one is the random delay. Okay, constant delay is just like your constant. Okay, and the random delay uh, will be between zero and configured value. Okay, for example. Okay, the, and then the actual delay will range between the constant delay plus constant delay plus random delay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now, now, okay. You see here. If the constant watch this carefully and you will try to you will understand guys. Okay, if the constant delay was configured to 10 seconds and random delay was configured to 5 seconds, the actual delay will be between 10 and 15 seconds guys. Okay, so there are two parts to uniform uh, random timer. One is the constant delay and one is the random delay. Okay, let's say the constant delay you have given it as 10 seconds. Okay. And then the random delay, let's assume, okay, let's assume you have given it as five seconds. Okay, so now the actual delay, the actual delay, okay, the actual uniform random timer consists of these two parts, right? So the actual delay, the actual delay, which will be added by JMeter will be between 10 seconds and 15 seconds. Initially, I thought to be honest initially. I thought it will be 5 to 15 seconds because this random delay will subtract is what I thought it might has the capability to subtract as well. That's what I thought, but that's not what it is. Okay. It's not like load runner. Okay. So I thought that for the constant delay it will add plus 5 or minus 5. So it will be between 5 and 15 seconds, but that's not the case. This is incorrect. My assumption was incorrect. Okay, because I came from low runner background. So always I my start my mind starts thinking from the low runner point of view. So I thought it was from 5 to 15 seconds, but that's not what it is. The actual delay is between constant delay and constant delay plus 15 seconds. So it will be 10.1 or 11, 11.5 or 12 or 12.5. It could be any any time between 10 and 15 seconds. This is what is the uniform random time. And the name uniform, I believe, has come from here, which is the constant delay, and random has come from this random delay. Since it consists of these two parts, which is the uniform and random, so which is the constant and random, so that's why they are calling it as uniform random timer, or simply, um, I've seen people call it as URT. Okay, people calling it as URT, uniform random time. Okay, so, so that's what it is, guys. Between 10 and 15. Are we clear with this one, guys? Are we clear? So what is this uniform random timer? Let me demonstrate this. 
Should I demonstrate this? Okay, wonderful guys. I want to hear from all of you guys, please. If, if you haven't understood, yeah, let me know. Okay. So <clears throat> now, now I want I I want the okay. Okay. I I want the think time. Okay. I have to be uniform random timer. I want it between launch and click. Okay. What is the best way to add the timer? Add the flow control action. Put it between where you want. Inside the flow control action, add the timer, which is the uniform random timer in my case. And in the flow control action, keep it as zero. Don't try to change that. In the uniform random timer, there are two parts. One is random delay and constant delay. You want it between 10 and 15 seconds. So this is in milliseconds. 10 seconds is 10,000 milliseconds. Okay. And random delay is 5,000. 5,000 milliseconds. Now the delay will be between 10 and 5 seconds. 10 and 5 seconds. Okay, so this is the flow control action. Okay, directly you can add it as well. If you want it, you can add it under the click. Click uh, under this, you can add it so that it will be between launch one and click and click 17. But visually, people don't understand if the think times are not there or not unless you unless you open this and watch it. So that's the reason why it is better to add the flow control action inside the flow control action. You add this and this one. Maybe you can give an appropriate name. Okay. Think time. Okay. Think time between 10 to 15 seconds. Okay. Think time of 10 to 15 seconds is what you can give so that right away people look at it. They know that, okay, this is the think time and that is between 10 to 15 seconds. Okay. This is, this is what is just a naming stand naming so that you right away know that between these two samplers uh, or between these two transactions, there is a think time of 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, that's what you can do. Okay, so are we clear this? Are we clear? Uniform random timer. Are we clear? All of you? Should I execute and show it to you or is it okay guys? Should I execute and show it to you guys or is it fine? Okay, so that yes is for understanding or yes is, yes is for me to go and execute. Show it please. Okay, so uh, I will try to add this uniform random timer everywhere guys. Okay, so Or let me see if I can replace. Okay, so there is no think time here Okay, let me see if I can replace this See if there is anything called replace guys remove is there paste cut merge node image toggle Display so oh this is uniform random timer itself i need not have to delete okay wonderful okay so whatever the delay that is there this pause is there this is a uniform random timer between 1 and 1.1 second guys okay so let me or, or else let me add okay this is 10000 and this is 5000 okay so <clears throat> Okay, so guys, I have added it at three places. Okay, after launch and after uh, after uh, click. Okay, between launch and click, I have one uniform random timer. Click and login, I have one more. Fish and product ID, I have one more. Okay, so these three, I'll keep an eye on it. Okay, let me try this. Let me run this for multiple iterations, guys. Let me run it for multiple iterations, or maybe just say infinite. Okay, so that it runs for a lot of time. Okay, it will runs for multiple times. Okay, so uh, one user let me run it for with five users instead of saying infinite let me run it for um, No, let me run it for one so that it will it is easy to execute and ten iterations. Okay, but the problem is if you want to know the think time <clears throat> The report might not show you the think time as that's a problem. Okay, the report might not show you the think time. Okay, so if you if you go ahead and add in the view results tree, you will not be able to see it. Okay, let me see you know where I can show it to you. Maybe in the aggregate report. Okay, I can I probably in the summary report aggregate report. Okay, I can show it to you. Yeah, view results in the table. Okay, listeners. Okay, uh, I'll say aggregate report. And listeners and I'll say um, what is the other one aggregate report is the summary report is there 
okay so let me use all the three of them okay let me use all the three of them now now okay the, the i i don't think directly i'll be able to see the thing time okay to prove that i'll go ahead and execute this okay and i'll not execute anything else i'll delete all the other ones clean up the whole thing okay so let me go ahead and look at it okay obviously i'll not be able to see it here okay in the view results tree let me try if i can if if it can be shown in the view results tree if there is anything called think time no it is not possible in the view results tree as well it is not possible but you see that after the sampler it is not executing the next sampler immediately which means that there is a think time and it is waiting for that think time okay had there was no think time immediately it was executed or maybe there is a way for us to know here guys okay and look at the time here okay so maybe in the view okay let me save this okay is there a way to save this one uh, in a table okay review results in the table aggregate okay after the complete execution is done maybe it will say save to the table okay so there is a way to look at it okay so let me stop here okay but there was save to the table should be there okay anyways now watch here carefully guys look at the timelines okay launch has started at 8:59 okay and it has executed approximately for 1 second okay so which means that at 9 o'clock the next request should have started but it is not starting at 9 it has started at 9 say 9 minutes 12 seconds okay this is 8 hour minute second okay at the 12th second it has started Ideally, it should have started at the ninth minute, but it has started at ninth minute twelve seconds, which means that there is a delay of twelve seconds. Are you able to understand this? This is started at eight fifty nine, eight eight o'clock, eighth minute and fifty nine. Forget about the hours. Look at the minutes and seconds. Eight fifty nine. This request has started. It has taken only one second. So it and the next one should have started at exactly nine o'clock. but it has not 9 o'clock at the 9th minute but it has started at 9th minute 12 seconds which means that the think time was 12 seconds and you see this is executed at 9th minute 12 seconds and only 0.3 seconds have happened which means that at 9th minute approximately 13 seconds the next request should have started but it has started at 9th minute 27 seconds so probably a 13 minutes of think time has been added so so you see here 12 minutes of think time here 13 minutes of think time and here maybe only 1 second of think time maybe you have had it over here okay so it the think time is being added think time is being added and that too it is random as you can see here okay is it clear guys is it clear all of you <coughs> yeah okay so there is no way it, just like in load runner it will show you in the log saying that this is how much time the think time has been executed there is no way to look at it okay maybe you can look at the logic i mean logically if you think you know you'll be able to figure out okay look at the start time and this has ended you know when this has to start if there is no think time and based on that you can do the calculations definitely the think time is varying here it was 12 seconds between this two 12 seconds between this two it seems to be 13 to 14 seconds here okay so <clears throat> like this you can look at it. okay wonderful so this is how a uniform think timer works guys okay wonderful okay now we will try to understand the gaussian random timer guys uh, not sure when you will be using some people like to use this gaussian random timer uh, i mean uh, my favorite is gaussian random timer i used to use this regularly even though uh, jmeter is recommending us to use the uniform random timer in fact i prefer to use the gaussian random timer okay or the combination of uniform and gaussian that is my personal preference okay because it's just the way the timer is designed you know this is more uh, <clears throat> i mean this seems to be more random in terms of random okay in terms of changing from user to user this seems to be more dynamic in that sense you know i use this gaussian random timer again it's your preference but in the interviews you just say you use the urt which is uniform random timer because that is being recommended by the jmeter itself and those guys are smart enough okay they have designed the tool they are they're smart enough they know what they are doing 
okay so <clears throat> So you see the Gaussian random timer any timer introduces a delay guys. Okay, but this is according to the Gaussian distribution Okay, this is according to the Gaussian distribution. Okay, this is how the Gaussian distribution is guys Okay, typically we call this as a mean and this is a deviation. Okay, so this is a mean and this is a deviation Okay, so based on that you will get it. Okay, so you see uh, let's assume that the mean value is 10 seconds and the variance is 12 the delay introduced will be varies like this between 8 and 12 okay so let me explain this to you okay so this is little difficult to understand guys but if you haven't understood as well you know that's okay that's okay okay and this uh, uh, Gaussian uh, graph or the Gaussian distribution I think this Gaussian distribution is also used for you uh, I think uh, for the promotions or maybe for your year-end uh, what do you say appraisal people usually go with this okay 95 per 68 percent of the people you know uh, they will get a certain uh, I mean um, ranking two and then 90 the remaining people will get ranking three and the remaining get ranking one so that all that ranking will be done based on this Gaussian distribution to be honest in most of the companies okay that's a different chapter but look at it okay look at it don't try to understand just to concentrate here guys let's say mean is 10 seconds okay and variance is two seconds and variance is what two seconds guys so mean minus variance is like let's say this becomes 10 minus 2 is 8 mean plus variance okay you see mean plus variance and 8 plus 2 12 okay let's assume mean is 10 seconds and variance is what two seconds so you have to say minus and plus so 10 minus 2 8 10 plus 2 12 then again 8 minus 2 6 okay 10 plus 2 14 again 6 minus 2 4 10 plus 2 16 so this is how you distribute this is how you distribute based on the mean and based on the variance this is how you distribute it in the graph okay now now you see 68 percent of the times okay your response times will be between 8 and 12 seconds so you execute 100 iterations 68 times the response times will be between 8 and 12 seconds when if you give a mean of 10 and a variance of 2 seconds okay and 95 percent of the times out of 100 times 95 percent of the times your response times will be between 6 and 14 between 6 seconds and 14 seconds and 99.7 percent of the times it will be between 4 and 16 seconds when if you give a mean of 10 seconds and a variance of 2 seconds this is how you have to distribute this 10 minus 2 10 plus 2 8 minus 2 10, 12 plus 2 6 minus 2 14 plus 2 that's how you distribute this graph and once that is distributed you know that how if you run this script for 100 iterations 68 times it will be between 8 and 12 seconds 95 times it will be between 6 and 14 seconds and 99.7 times it will be between 4 and 16 seconds so that's how the Gaussian random timer works how why because that's what is the Gaussian distribution and logically they have implemented it all you have to give is the mean and the variance based on the mean and the variance automatically it will give you I gave you an example as well if the mean is 10 seconds and the variance is 2 seconds what will happen are we clear with this case it is maybe it is a little tough to understand but I don't think it's too tough are we clear this or should I go again should I explain you can you, you can speak I have my speakers up okay I'll show you but you understood the logic everybody as to how the Gaussian random timer is working all of you guys logic works logic logic understood okay so all you have to give is two components just like in the uniform random timer you have given the constant delay and the random delay. Here also you have to give what? You have to give the mean and the variance. Mean and the variance. Automatically it will show you. Mean is 10 and the variance is 2. So 68 times you run it for 100 iterations. 68 times it will be between 8 and 12 seconds. 95 times it will be between 8 and 14 seconds. 6 and 14 seconds. And 99.7 times it will be 4 and 6 seconds okay so that's how it is so all you have to give is the Gaussian random time okay so <clears throat> okay so like to make my demonstration easy guys let me do it this way okay so um, uh, what I will do is okay I'll create one more simple controller okay 
copy can i copy it okay copy i have already pasted it okay so uh, one minute okay let me move this one let me disable this okay so i'll i i can mess this one okay this is for time loss is what i can i can mess this one okay let me mess it up okay and i don't care about other timers let's concentrate on only this let me add a loop controller so that it executes okay so i'll be able to show it to you and i'll put this three components in the loop okay one two three okay i'll put this three so that i actually in the ideal world in the ideal world okay just for demonstrations i'm doing all this mess up in the ideal world what do you do you go to the flow control action inside the flow control action you add this caution random timer okay you add this caution random timer and in the caution random timer there are two components one is the constant delay offset one is the deviation okay okay so uh, this is the offset right so deviation let's say this is mean which we thought is 10 seconds so let's put it as 10000 and constant delay offset let's say it is 2 seconds which means that 2000 milliseconds okay so this is what you put okay let me check that Okay, it's not there. Fine, not an issue. Okay. So this is what you will give. This is what you give. Okay, between these two samplers, you want the think time. Add the flow control action inside the flow control action. Give a Gaussian random timer, and you give these two uh, two components, which is the uh, mean, which is ten thousand, and the deviation, I mean offset or the variance, which is two thousand. So it will be. 10 10 is the mean 2 is the deviation this is what it means okay to demonstrate what i have done is i have put it in the loop controller and i will infinite through loop okay and and <clears throat> okay and what i can do is instead of this sampler i can add the transaction sampler so that i can show you what is the response times okay let me put a transaction controller here okay so inside the transaction controller i will add both the sampler and the think tank okay both the sampler and the think tank okay why i am doing it i'll you'll understand and here you see include duration of the timer you generate this okay include duration of the timer you generate this and uh, and now okay uh, generate the parent sample i don't know if i need it or not at this point of time let me see if it will show the uh, duration of the timer or not okay so <clears throat> now now okay so let me clean up all all the reports okay let me clean up all the reports and let me go ahead and execute it okay <clears throat> definitely it is waiting for that thing time guys okay there is no other goes otherwise it will not take this much time okay so uh, purchase the product why it is executing purchase the product it is supposed to execute the loop controller right <laughs> simple controller times which one it is executing hang on guys oh okay okay launch one okay now let's look at this one guys let's look at this one what has happened what i was expecting is in the loop controller think time is there okay okay yeah so wonderful there is there is click and there is this transaction controller is there okay which is the launch okay let's see what is happening okay launch okay it is looping through infinite right this is looping through infinite hang on guys so i got a little confused here okay so it it should loop through it should never come out of it and it should never execute what the click so, but it is executing the click let me understand what is going on here okay oh okay so this is the way to look at it okay launch transaction controller click launch transaction controller click launch transaction controller click okay it is doing the way i want it okay wonderful so it is looping through okay now let's look at the report okay so yeah this report if you look at it we will understand okay launch how much time it no not this report okay maybe some other report okay maybe this one okay uh, instead of uh, yeah this report should be good enough okay 
Okay, but here uh, this is how I need to sort it out so that you will be able to understand it better. Okay, now <clears throat> let me stop it, guys. You see this transaction controller. This transaction controller contains only the large and the thing type. And the way I have given the transaction controller is it should include the thing type. Okay, it should include the thing type. It is little tricky to understand, guys. Try to understand here. Okay, so the transaction controller should be the response of the launch because in the transaction controller there is only one sampler which is launch. So whatever the time that is taken for the launch, that should be the time for transaction controller. But that's not what it is. If you look at the transaction controller, how much it is? It is approximately 13 seconds, or in fact 14 seconds. Out of this 14 seconds, how much time it has taken for the launch? Only 0.4 seconds or 0.3 seconds is taken for the launch. So remaining everything is think time. Are you able to understand this? Remaining everything is think time. So approximately 13 seconds of think time has been added for this one. Okay. So you see the transaction controller contains two things. One, one is launch, one is think time. Okay. So launch, how much time it is giving? 373. Transaction controller, how much it is giving? 13 seconds. So the think time should be. 13,927 minus 373 is approximately 13.4 seconds is what the thing time is. Okay. Now the second iteration you have looped through. The second iteration if you look at it. Again let's look at what is the launch. Okay. Launch is only 163. Uh, the transaction controller is 11 seconds. So approximately 11 seconds of thing time has been added here. So here approximately 30, 14 seconds of thing time has been added. Again, you see here, this is 2 sec 0.2 seconds, this is 14 seconds. So, 14, approximately 14 seconds of think time has been added here. Again, here 2 seconds. Okay. So, again here, uh, very less think time as, uh, here also something like 12 seconds. Okay. Here also, if you look at it, okay, how much is the think time? Again, 15 seconds, approximately 14 seconds. So, like this, different think times has been added. Yes. Have you understood the logic as to what I was doing as? Devata, have you understood the demonstration? Okay, so this transaction controller contains both the launch time and the think time, both of them. Okay, so it is giving the launch time uh, transaction. The, it is, my report is giving the whole response time for the transaction controller and launch. So whatever the difference that should have been the think time. Okay, so that's how I'm calculating it. Okay, transaction controller. Okay, transaction controller and launch. Okay, launch transaction controller, launch transaction controller. You can subtract this from this so that you can get the thing that. Are you able to understand this? Or did I did I confuse you all of you? Okay, I will put both the thing time and the sampler in the transaction controller and saying including the duration of the timer. So what, what my report is showing, the time taken for the transaction controller, time taken for the launch, it is not giving the time taken for the thing time. So you can subtract this from this so that you exactly know how much is the Okay, and if you subtract, you have seen that the think time is way. Well, okay, 13, 11, 14, and all that. Okay, and here it is less than 10 seconds, also it is showing. You see, it is 8 seconds. So, as you execute, you will know more. Like, you know, it will vary between uh, if you run it for 100 times, you clearly see it will follow our Gaussian graph. Okay, are we clear, all of you guys? Are we clear? I want to hear from you guys. Okay, should I stop here or should I continue? So guys, should I stop here or should I continue? It's up to you guys. I'm okay either ways. If you want me to continue, I want to take maybe. Okay, fine. Let's stop here, guys. Okay, so go back, listen to the video, listen to it a couple of times, guys. Too. I mean, always when you're listening to the videos, right, you know, you can listen it on your mobile, on the go, I would suggest you to listen. Okay, so recently what I have done is I bought this, uh, I, I'm, I'm just uh, telling you what trick it works. Okay, so recently what I have done is I'm not, I'm not again, you know, I'm not marketing anything, guys. Okay, uh, don't, don't misunderstand me for marketing. Okay. Uh, Sony wireless uh, earphones, I believe. Okay, Bluetooth earphones. 
okay so this is what i bought it guys it's pretty good okay so i and i bought it something related to sony okay it is wonderful okay so um, what i do is on the go whatever the work i am doing right i am just putting this wireless headset okay um, in, into my ears and uh, play it on my uh, play it on my phone whatever the videos i don't usually listen to technical videos i listen to some other videos more 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 mostly on my spiritual side okay but i listen on the go all the time okay whenever i'm doing any work maybe i'm doing shaving or maybe you know i am brushing my teeth or maybe i know i'm i'm walking um, i do usually go for a walk or run out or work out so whenever i'm doing you know i'll put this one and put the phone on my into my pocket and then keep listening all the time okay the same thing i listen 100 times okay so i might not concentrate 100% okay i might be concentrating only 20 to 30% but something is going into my head okay so i'm aware of whatever is happening around it's not that you know i'm completely oblivious i'm aware of what is happening around but at the same time i'm paying attention and concentrating on what it is on the videos as well this has made my life easy i'll put it on my ears and then connect it via bluetooth through my mobile phone and mobile phone will always be in the pocket it is not wired so i need not have to worry whether i run whether i walk whether whatever i'm doing i can i can just listen to it so this is helping guys okay not you need not have to buy sony buy anything but sony seems to be little better and uh, people who are little worried about the bluetooth signals okay uh, i would have bought this probably one year back but i was worried about the signal strength of bluetooth and how much it harm it can do to my body okay so one of my friend is a research scientist okay in india okay so in a scientist scientist okay so he works on the electronic side itself okay and he confirmed that it's not that harmful okay okay so what about the spelling okay forget it okay so he confirmed that you know the signals are not that bad you know honestly whatever the signals that you are directly receiving on the cell phone that are much more harmful than the bluetooth signals so in fact it is safe to use the bluetooth is what he is saying okay then immediately i bought it so maybe you can purchase something like this or maybe something little cheaper depending on your budget okay i bought this one to be honest you know this 1790 when i bought it it was little expensive 2400 but now it looks like there is a deal which is going on okay so this is what i bought it to be honest okay so there are much more cheaper ones as well okay but you can buy that and you know you can listen to the videos all the all the all the time on the go you listen to it multiple times you get the hang of it okay so uh, uh, anita has sent the new passwords to you guys i heard some people uh, uh, this is not in usd oh don't worry usd don't worry this is ayana if you convert it to usd this will be like 20 bucks or 30 bucks can somebody do a math and tell me guys how much it will be in usd so uh, 1790 divided by 70 okay let me tell you how much approximately it will be okay so approximately it will be 25 bucks guys okay if you are looking in us it will be 25 bucks okay so yeah okay i've sent a new links novel okay so dejanu has received his uh, is confirming as well okay so you can look at it uh, they are working okay and uh, the current videos you will be getting it regular okay and when you buy it buy something which is uh, little standard okay don't don't spoil your health for 10 bucks okay maybe the other ones you might get it for 10 bucks but this is hardly 25 bucks okay so buy something standard maybe sony maybe boss or maybe samsung or something like that okay i'm not the expert here in the wireless bluetooth just ask my friend he said sony is good so i just bought sony because he was expert okay so uh, but buy wireless bluetooth wireless so it becomes totally handy i i mean my life became so easy from last one month you don't even believe so now i know that why i have to invest on such in gadgets it is very very important you know i'm starting to realize that okay so anyways uh that's the story so i'll come back tomorrow try to complete the timers and start with the assertions
okay thank you guys thank you for joining see you tomorrow at the same time regular time not this time not 30 minutes late the regular time whatever the time it is try to join at the same, same time guys thank you for joining see you tomorrow guys bye bye take care Have a great day, guys. Have a great day.